Welcome back to more Summoner's War Monster Strategies. Today we're going to be looking at the Fire Garuda and that is Cahul. Okay, this guy, let me just begin by saying, he's bad. It is a very bad monster. And I mean, the reason is because he is completely outclassed by another monster that is fairly simple to get, fairly easy. But, let's talk about his stats. As a level 46 star, his stats are... 5,595 HP, 659 attack, 615 defense, and 93 speed. Okay, just by looking at these stats, you kind of see the issue here. They're terrible. I mean, the fact that he has 5,500 HP, oh my god. First of all, I think that is the lowest HP count in the entire game. I could be wrong on that, but I'm, I don't remember like completely. But, um, that's bad. That is downright terrible. To have that much of a pathetic HP. On top of that, he has a somewhat high attack stat for being a Garuda, which is actually kind of a waste because it's not about dishing out crazy damage with the attack stat. And the defense, it's pretty good, but I mean, it's not amazing, you know, peaking 700, it's not as good as that. And the speed, I mean, if there's any benefit, is that he has two more speed than other Garudas, or at least, you know, Konamiya and Linderman. So, I, I don't know, but I mean, he, he's not that great, and let's talk about why. His skills. First skill is Onslaught. Attacks the enemy at breakneck speed, may stun the enemy with a 24% chance. Okay. Second skill. Attacks the enemy with a fireball and inflicts continuous damage for three turns. And the third skill. Rapidity. Fills the attack bar of all allies by 30% and increases their attack speed for two turns. Okay. This move, it should ring a bell. It is extremely similar to, try and guess, Bernard's Tailwind, that's right. So, the issue with this guy is that he is outclassed by Bernard in every way possible. Oh my god, I mean, actually, I, I guess there's only one thing that this guy's better at. Cahill's first skill is technically better than Bernard's first skill. Because Bernard's first skill does absolutely nothing in terms of inflicting a status element. You know, it only improves damage with more speed, which I mean, let's be honest, because Bernard is an attack-based monster, that's not really a good benefit. Onslaught would be better than freaking, you know, Snatch, but that's one thing out of like a hundred, actually, I'm exaggerating by a hundred, but the point is, Bernard is an amazing monster, as you already know, and he outclasses this guy. The second skill here, Fireball. Okay, the fact that it has a 100% chance, and by 100, I mean 100% initial, you know, then you take resistance and accuracy into consideration, but 100% initial chance to inflict continuous damage for three turns is good. But they gave him a high attack stat. I mean, the fact that this move is pretty pathetic, plus him being a Garuda, you know, like pathetic in terms of damage. And then this one, the main priority is for continuous damage, DOT, not initial damage. Why did they give him 659 attack when they could have used that extra stat on HP and defense instead? Why? The stats are terrible. It's a terrible combination. Okay, and then the third thing. Rapidity. Also, this move can be re reusable in three turns, just like Tailwind eventually, you know, with the skill ups. So even though it's an identical move, you know, 30% bar, speed for two turns, three turn cool time, it's the same thing. Even though it's identical, here's the issue with Cahill being a uh, speed booster. His speed is at 93. Bernard's is at 111. That is a huge difference. That is a huge difference. Bernard can get a hell of a lot more benefits with more speed over this guy. On top of that, if you compare Bernard's stats to this guy, Cahill has 5,500 HP. Bernard has over 10,000. That's almost twice as much HP from Bernard. The second thing, 615 defense, Bernard reaches 700 defense. So almost 100 more defense from Bernard. Speed, like I just said, 93 versus 111. Bernard outclasses him in HP, in defense, and speed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cahill has more attack than Bernard. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I gotta give him some credit, right? Actually, no, no, I'm sorry, but no. Having more attack than him, mm -mm. it's just not good. Like, it's, it's not worth it. And like I said, the skills. Bernard has a body slam at slot too. This guy has a DOT move. I mean, body slam is more effective for Bernard's role for a speed booster. And then the third skill is identical. I can't really blame Cahill for that. First skill, I guess Cahill's a better skill than Snatch, you know, but the point is Bernard is just downright amazing. 
this guy should not be used because Bernard is quite simple to get. You can farm him in the desert. So yeah, um, let's talk about the runes now. The runes. If you were to use this guy, and I mean if, make him identical to Bernard. Except, probably don't use an accuracy in slot 6. I mean, you could if you want to, I, I don't know. Because again, his first and second ones do require accuracy, but I mean, is it worth it? I don't know. Body slam is very important to get on, on Bernard, you know, to land on the enemy. This guy with DOT and stuns, I mean, it's important, but it's your choice. Overall, swift energy, like Bernard, I mean, I guess if we put swift focus, but swift energy, and then speed HP HP, or speed HP accuracy if you want, I don't know, but the point is that make him similar to, making him similar to Bernard, sorry, would be the best way to use this guy. And by best, I mean not very good. So my overall review of this guy would be to, well, not use him. If you have to in the very, very beginning of the game, go ahead and use him, but you will get rid of him eventually. And actually, because Bernard can be farmable, you know, in um, the desert, as soon as you get him, ditch this guy completely. Ditch him. He is not worth keeping. Okay, so go ahead and leave comments about the rune setups that you guys have used with this guy. You know, if you've had some successes, although I'm pretty sure how many of you have not. Anyway, thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and as always, until next time.